Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tangle Time Arts. My name is Nana Heron, and I'm a certified Zen Tangle teacher. And for this video, I thought we would work our way through two days of Inktober Tangles. Sometimes when working through projects like this, I, I see two days in a row that would work well together, and then I'll put them on the same tile. So for this project, we have day 19, of course, which is Bunzo by Zentangle. And then we also have day 20, which is Gilgo by Danielle De Palma Mabanta, CZT. So for this project, we are going to need a white tile, uh, we may need a black pen, um, but I'd like to have one just in case. Um, a number two pencil, a tortillon, and I'm going to be working um, with gel pens today. Um, so any gel pens would work, any colors, um, but you can do this all in black if you choose. I just feel like um, working with the gel pens today, so uh, that's how I'm going to film it. And let's get started. All right. Oh, and if you haven't downloaded your handout yet, you can still get one. The information is in the description. And big shout out to Stephanie Jennifer for putting this all together. Um, we are sailing right along with these 19 and 20. All right. So for this one, we are going to start with our pencil. And we're going to use as much of this tile as we can. So we are just going to draw an S shape. And I'm going to draw that a little darker for you so that you can see. And then we are going to move on to our pens. All right, so then we're going to take our gel pens and I'm gonna start with the gold, the gold one. And I am going to start on this line um, kind of in the center. And because of the way Bunzo is, I feel like that would go in better if I did that one second. So I'm going to start with, um, skip ahead to day 20, Gilgo, um, and start with that one. So on our line, we are going to do just some orbs. I'm doing three and two. But I'm also going to do two on the other side as well. We have kind of a nice center there. And then I'm going to be using several colors for, for this tangle. And I'm going to switch to kind of the reddish tone one. And I'm going to put in, um, they're kind of like heart shapes, but you don't have the point. You start with a heart shape. And then you go off of that heart shape a couple of times. You could actually go all the way around if you'd like to, but um, the tangle is, is like a half flower. And this is a floral tangle, one of those botanical tangles that I love. And we do the same on the other side with the heart shapes. Like that, and I'm kind of keeping it on the line. Once I have that in, then I'm going to do some petals. I look at them as petals, but um, depending on how you think of it, this could be the flower part, and then this this could be the leaf part, and I. I guess that's possible. 
um, but I look at the it is um, a flower center and some inner petals and then we're going to do some outer outer petals so I like to do my petals as um, kind of a curve so this is like the bottom part of a heart almost like that and this is kind of my take on it so if you feel these are more like leaves you could do these in green but to me they kind of look like petals and we're just working our way around with um curved lines I'm not counting how many I'm putting in I am just putting them in as long as they fit and once you get to this point then you can add some embellishments uh, and I just like to do that very simply um, so this is just kind of like a bump, but not all the way touching, and then another bump. And I do that for each one. like that and then we can go back in with our kind of reddish one and add some embellishment here I'm just going to aura the original shape and then ink that in so I'm kind of putting mini hearts mini heart shapes in there and there we have um gilgo all right now i'm going to take my gold gold pen again and I'm going to put I'm going to do another row of three and then do two on each side and we're going to work on this one Then we'll take our reddish pen and put in our heart shape. And then we continue with more heart shapes. Like that and since we already know we're going to embellish with mini hearts inside I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm running off of the screen. I'm sorry. All right. And then we can take our more orange color. 
just kind of a copper and put in our larger petals. Or if you're using green for, for leaves, you can go ahead and grab that. Mine are going to run off just a little bit. So these petals kind of also remind me of poke leaf a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this last petal in here and kind of touch the other one like that. And then we can embellish like we did before. I'm just embellishing with the bump, kind of like a, a flattened M. We have a bump there and another bump. Kind of like the petal has folded in on itself. All right. And then you've probably already guessed that I'm going to put another one here. And we're just following the same steps. So I'm going to put that about here. One, two, three. Two on each side. And switch to the more reddish colored one and put in a heart shape. And then our other hearts come off of the first one. So I'm following the line, which um, hopefully yours is lighter than mine. Um, so I'm getting this nice kind of curve there with our flowers. And I'm going to add my embellishment right now for the hearts. And then I'll pick up the copper pen again. Or green if you're doing leaves. And then we can add our embellishment. Make sure we can see that. All right, so we have three of the Gilgo flowers. And then I thought we would add some um, Bunzo in there. 
So you could go with any color with Bunza. We could even go in with the black, but I thought I would just use this kind of, um, I think it's a blue violet kind of color. And I'm just going to start in the, in the center here with the center one and Bunzo is actually, we're kind of making these, it's like a circular half arcs, I guess I would call it. Um, Bunzo kind of gets its inspiration from striping. Um, but we're using these curved or crescent type of shapes. Um, and I'm going to, when I ink it in, leave a little bit of a shine there. So when you make your curves, they're either going to get smaller or larger as you go. And I'm alternating um, inking them in. So I won't ink this one in. And I'll make another one here. And then I will ink that one in. And you can ink it in solid if you would like. I'm just leaving a little bit of a, a shine in there for some interest. And then you can either um, start rotating it to the right or the left. So I think I'll kind of go over to the right. Like that. It's very organic, so there, there really aren't any rules as to which direction you need to go in. Right. Well, then I think I will add. Let's go in over here, a little loop there. And we kind of have to picture what's behind our petal there. Just ink in an area. So with this one, there's definitely some drawing behind and I'm just gonna ink this one in solidly. And then I think I will go off of that, put in another kind of curve. I'm going to go in with a solid, a solid stripe. And let's put in another one. Let's see, we could add another. Another series of. Stripes curved stripes over here. So they are going to kind of build on one another uh, and they will go every which way and kind of take on a life of themselves. I'm going to add a little bit down here because this looks a little empty. Like that, and then we can go off this way. And you just keep keep going, keep adding 
as much as you feel you would like to. And it definitely helps to rotate when you're working with this one. So once you're happy with uh, how many you have, then we can move on to these other areas and add some. I think I'll go with another one here. And you can get loopier and um, curvier, um, whatever you'd like to do. But I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to come over here to this one and kind of do the same thing. And they can go in interesting di directions. I feel like with Bonzo, I never know when I'm going to end up with actually, because it's such an organic process. So it can actually be a complete surprise. Let's put some over here. And go in a little differently and start with a darker one there. Maybe add a little more over here. So you definitely have to just follow your creative intuition there and um, to see what you end up with. And now we're going to come over here and do this one. I'm going to work this way so we can kind of fit it in. I'm going to leave a shiny spot on that one. this way so yeah there's a lot of rotating with this one um just so that you can see where you want to place them i'm 
Now we're going to draw behind like that. Be careful with your gel pen if you're using them because they do take longer to um, dry. So even though I love gel pens, it, it can be challenging. All right, let me see. Do I feel like I need a little bit more? Maybe over here. Let's rotate around and see if we need some more. I don't think I really do. Maybe just one more section here. All right, I think that's enough for the bunzo. I would like to add a little bit of uh, fescue, and you can do this with either green or gold. But I'm going to go in with the gold, um, I'm sorry, the green pen here. So anywhere that I kind of have these little valleys, I'm just coming in and adding um, a little bit of, of fescue here. And again, it's it's one of, one of those things where you kind of have to rotate around and just see. where you would like to put them. Right now I'm working around the bunzo areas, but I'll probably add some more around the flowers as well. Like that, and then I'm going to go back in and add to these areas. Just rotating to see. To see what would look best. Is there any other area that we could add some? It's just a matter of going back around and taking taking your time and and adding. Um, and that's about it that I'm going to add to that. So we have our Bonzo, which is day 19, and then our the Gilgo, 
which is day 20, um, with some added fescue there. And I am going to, it's still a little wet, but I will be flipping it over to add my um, information. Once it's kind of um, dry, you can go back in and add a little bit of shading. And I don't think it needs a lot, but I do like to add a little bit to this area. In here, just a little bit of graphite, not a whole lot. You could actually, if you want to ink in these areas, you could do that as well. So let's get our graphite on here. And then we'll go back in and um, we can add ink to that. And I think I'll add a little graphite in these areas where it's white just to offset these centers. Okay, let's take our tortillon. I'm just using little circular motions very gently. Like that. And if you would like to add some shading around these areas where they meet, you could do that. Um, I'm not really going to do anything with the bunzo, so I'm going to leave that like that, and then I am going to go back in with the kind of coppery color that we used and kind of fill in these areas just because I think it would add a little extra sparkle. You could go in with a, a glitter pen too if you wanted to. I'm using the metallic gel pens from Altitude. You can get them at Target. Um, and so far, I really like them. I wish they came in more colors, actually. They're very juicy and easy to work with. I've never had a problem with them clogging. And I, I've been using them for months now. They just seem to work every single time. Sometimes gel pens can be uh, a bit temperamental, but not these. I'm 
And I think we have one more here. Okay, awesome. That well, looks really cool. I like that. So I actually did not need my um, black pen today, um, but that's okay. I'm just trying to think where I want to put my initials. I'm going to, I think, tuck it into here, this little area. That. Um, yeah, cute. So we have our flowers, our Gilgo flowers for day 20 and Bunzo day 19. And we added some fescue, um, some festive fescue. And it's a little wet, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and, and uh, gently fill out my information. <laughs> um, all right. Put my name. And let's see. The 19th, but I, I'm doing this for um, 19 and 20. So we'll put that in our notes. So we have days in 19 and 20. We have um, Bonzo, B-N-Z-O by Zentangle. I'm just going to put headquarters because it's by Z by the Zentangle group. And then we have Gilgo, G-I-L-G-O by Danielle De Palma Mabanta CZT. So thank you, Zentangle. Thank you, Danielle. And thank you, Stephanie Jennifer, as always. Okay, flip this back over. And here's our cute little colorful two-day project for the weekend. Um, have fun with the bunzo and you can just go wild with that and the fescue. And of course the the flowers definitely are the centerpiece there. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and for doing two days in one. Um, that was fun. I like to do that sometimes. I like to combine them. Um, it doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does. So I hope you had fun with that and um, try different things. And I will see you for day 21. Um, have a great weekend and stay safe. And remember, I love you guys. Bye.